Hello and welcome back to the Gospel Teachings of R.E.K. We're going to be doing a random Bible opening. And the reason I do these random Bible openings is because my grandfather, um, he used to come on Saturday to my mom's, or my, my parents' house, and uh, he would, when he didn't have anything prepared, like any of his writings prepared uh, for what we called church, he would open the Bible at random and he would say, let's see what God has for us to read today. And we'd usually read um, anywhere between a page and seven pages, but tonight I'm going to open up and whatever chapter I see first, I'm going to read that chapter. So I'm going to open now, and I open up to Colossians chapter 3. Therefore, if you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above, not the things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, shall appear then you too will appear with him in glory. Therefore, mortify your members, which are on earth, immorality, uncleanliness, lust, evil desire, and covetousness, which is a form of idol worship. Because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the unbelievers, and you yourselves once walked in them when they were your life. But now do you also put them all away, Anger, wrath, malice, abusive language, and foul-mouthed utterances. Do not lie to one another. Strip off the old man with his deeds and put on the new. One that is being renewed unto perfect knowledge, according to the image of his creator. Here there is no Gentile and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian and Scythian, slave and free man, but Christ is all things and in all. Put on, therefore, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, a heart of mercy, kindness, humility, meekness, patience. Bear with one another, and forgive one another. If anyone has grievance against any other, even as the Lord has forgiven you, so also do you forgive. But above all things, have charity, which is the bond of perfection, and may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts." Unto that peace, indeed, you were called in one body. Show yourselves thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you abundantly, in all wisdom teach, and admonish one another by psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing in your hearts to God by his grace. Whatever you do in word for in work, or or in work, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subject to your husbands, as is becoming in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and do not be bitter towards them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for that is pleasing in the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, that they may not be discouraged. Slaves, obey in all things your masters, according to the flesh, not with eye service seeking to please men, but in singleness of heart from fear of the Lord. Whatever you do, work at it from the heart, as for the Lord, and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. Serve the Lord Christ, for he who does a wrong will reap the wrong he did, and there is no respect of persons. Thank you for joining me on the random Bible opening of Colossians chapter 3. God bless you and have a good night.